or the third and six play to, to um, move the chains? I'd probably say the third and six. Um, you know, we originally had something called, and then uh, I think Coach talk, called a timeout, or they called a timeout, mm -hmm. and then I felt like we got in a little better play and, you know, RPO, and then also a quarterback draw, so just giving me multiple options. That second 16 was pretty huge, right, to give you some manageable. Yeah, and I think I, I think that's after we – that was after the reverse that we had and lost some yards on, so that was a, you know, really big play to, you know, kind of make it third and manageable in the red zone. On a night when the offense might not have been clicking on all cylinders, how big was it when Buddy had that scoop and score? It was huge, and, um, you know, I don't remember how – I think we were down at that point, but, you know, um, you know, Blades uh, made a big-time play, and Minna BK was in the backfield also, and – um, for Buddy to make that huge play and scoop and score is, you know, really big. And I th think they're close to in the red zone or, you know, kind of in the red zone about to score. So um, that was, you know, a really big play for our defense to kind of give the whole team momentum. Jamon said after the game, and he just said it again, that it feels like the offense hadn't really built off a lot of momentum. Do you, do you agree with that? Why do you think that is? And how do you think you can get that rolling? Um, you know, it's, it's kind of hard to say. And, you know, we have, you know, obviously we had a lot of good players and, you know, we got leaders on the team, but you know it's it's kind of hard to find you know the, that rhythm sometimes, and you know we show glimpses of it, but um, just kind of the same thing I say each week. You know we got to be a little bit more consistent. So um, you know it, it's easy for anybody to you know point it out, but you know to fix it, it's kind of hard. So um, just something that we have to you know continue to fight for, and um, you know it, it'll eventually happen. Would how big like was? Oh, sorry. How, how big was Spiller um, for a game like this to, to kind of give you guys that that boost? Um, it was really big and. Um, for him, kind of, who who had a fumble uh, last week, and uh, you know his confidence never went down, and um, you know even you know even uh, after not rushing really well, his confidence never went down. So just being able to um, help us in the run game, how he did, and then have a key uh, touchdown in the fourth quarter was really big for our offense. Kellen, do you want to take more deep shots, or uh, and if so, why or why not do you do you not do that? Um, I mean, I, I guess it could be good and uh, just being able to mix it up and um, but obviously still got to be able to hit them. You know, I've, you know, I've thrown some uh, this season, missed a few and then, you know, hit a hit a couple. So, um, you know, it's easy to say, you know, what we should be doing, but we still got to be able to execute uh, and you know, be a little bit more consistent. You so. feel like you got the, you get the time to throw deep? Uh, I, I do. Um, you know, sometimes the pocket breaks down and, you know, also a lot of times I got to um, you know, make up my mind a little bit quicker and be able to find a uh, check down or, you know, uh, some of my guys in the slot who are a little bit shorter routes. So, I mean, a lot of people like to blame the offensive line, but sometimes that's me getting the ball in my hands quicker. So, What does Anias need to do when we're not out there watching in between Saturdays for him to get more action on Saturdays? Um, I mean, just continue what he's doing. And, you know, he's, you know, he's practiced really well the past few weeks. And um, I think a lot of people have seen his role grow since, you know, week one. And obviously, like I've talked about him, you know, a lot, and you know how his how his role and how his play has grown. But I mean, he's he's done really well in practice, and you know, we we still have really good receivers in front of him. But um, I mean, he's a really dynamic player, and you know, he's going to continue to get better, and you know, we're going to continue to get try to get him the ball. How important was it to find Rodgers for this team, but also for Kendrick? I mean, it was really big, and uh, you know, Kendrick's somebody who's kind of been battling uh, injuries this year, and um, just kind of for him to, you know, not only, you know, have a touchdown, but kind of make a play like that, uh, you know, a big time contested catch, you know, when you're down um, was really big for us and especially for his confidence. What are you seeing in the passing game right now from your perspective? Um, are big plays there? Or are you having to get rid of it a little faster than you want to? What, what, what are you seeing in the passing game right now? Um, I, I think, uh, you know, we're kind of spreading it out and, um, you know, I still believe that we're dynamic in the passing game. Um, you know, we a lot of times you know we we can blame a lot of other people or you know receiver or something, but um, we got to still be accountable. You know, I wasn't perfect this weekend, and um, you know, missed a snag route, an easy throw to Kendrick, and you know, missed a swing route on third down to Isaiah. So we can you know sit here and you know blame a lot of other people, but you know we got to be accountable. So I'm gonna be accountable for you know what I did wrong.